okay we are storing the images uh, how about we use sharp js to resize them and store them in different sizes so eventually the front end developer can show them uh, with different sizes to improve the performance uh, okay so i was this thing just again that's why there is a lot of folders files here sorry and what the goal is from this video is to create this folder and for each image the user uploads resize it and then put it inside the folder corresponding with the size so this is 25 pixel by 25 as you can see it's really small so this is good for small like thumbnails this is also small the sizes i just came up with them from my mind but uh, you can do anything i will just show you the way so let me just delete everything I don't think it's a bad idea uh, Yes, delete everything Okay, so inside the public folder, it's empty So what I will do, uh, I'm the files controller First thing I will create uh, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not going to write like really good code so i'm just going to prove or just to show you something that should be considered a proof of concept a poc so i will create an array called sizes and i will create in the const it's a private and read only and this is the sizes i will have 25 by 25 50 by 50 100 200 400 900 uh, and the goal is uh, after the user uploads the image so these interceptors will work these decorators and and the image will be stored after so just to give you a context uh, on this file and this function we wrote uh, the previous video so when this function gets triggered the file is already in the sit in the location we told malter to put it so what i will do I will I need to create a, a function and call it here so like this I will call it this I will call it save image sorry can type so I'll call it this to save images and I need to give it an extension and the file the multi file object so okay let, let's start doing this that function uh, first thing we need to get the extension and like we usually do the mime type split by the first by the forward slash and it's the second index so oops so this is the definition of the function it's private called save images accepts the extension and the multi object so and i will just copy paste the code i won't spend so much time so eventually I will give you a repository that you can ch check the code. So if the, I will create inside the F, I will put an F. So if it's an image, resize it. Anything else, uh, maybe do something else with it. I don't know. Uh, so this is the extensions that I will resize. So if this array includes the extension that of, of the user file, I will resize it. What I will do, I will loop through each size like this so this dot size is for each and here I will uh, first thing I will get the size so if you recall this is 25 by 25 for example if I split by X the first and second index is the size so here I'm getting the first index size and uh, what I will do since the file is already in stored in our local system by the point where upload file is getting is being uh, executed and we are passing the file that the file object that represents the file being stored to our save images i can read it using the normal read read file from node.js modules so what i will do at the top i will include a write and read file from fs so here sorry uh, 
read and write file. I'll include them from uh, FS like this. And uh, I need to make them. Uh, I like working with promises. I won't use the callback functions. So I will import your promise file from utility. This is also a Node.js module, so we don't need to install anything. And I will imp and I will promiseify the read and write file. And this is easy. So promise if I and give it, give it a function, it will just wrap it inside a promise. You can do it actually. It's not that complicated. Uh, maybe that will be a good video <laughs> in the future. Uh, so yeah, this is a promiseified right read file. This is a promiseified write file, which is good. Uh, another thing I will do, I will uh, import Malter, and I think I'm I don't I don't think I showed you, but you need to install it by typing npm install uh, sharp and at so I didn't comment it. and add types alter sorry <laughs> this is types so npm install sharp then install the types for sharp and to install and to import sharp after you install it, uh, you, you should do the, something like this. So import everything as sharp. Um, yeah, this is this is it for the imports. And here, uh, since we installed the since we saved the file in our local system and we have the the path, so file dot path is the path. We need to read it. Then after we read it, this read file async function will return it as a buffer. So like this, so read file async for the file, file.path, so this is now a promise, so it will return, uh, so yeah, it will be resolved, but with, the, I will call it B, it's of type buffer, and what I will do with the buffer, I will use sharp, so sharp, let me just format everything. With the B, it's the buffer, and sharp itself returns a promise. So then, on I think it's not then it's not does not return a promise. Yeah, uh, sharp it's just like yeah it returns an instance of sharp. So I think I need to put dot resize. Can you see the font? Okay. Resize. Uh, with the size, we extract it from here, but we need to make it an integer, so put plus. And after you resize it to the size, I uh, will save it to a file. So to file function will save it, and you need to give it a path. And a good way, like to always give it a good path, so when you deploy it, so when you deploy the service, nothing will be broken, is to use the the underscore underscore directory name. So first thing I will use the template strings and here I'll put the directory name. So this is like uh, this is the files directory this will give us. So I need to go out now I'm I'm in the source, go outside the source, then go inside the public. So double dots forward slash and you need after the directory name it won't be ended with a forward slash so you need to end it then go outside then another time go outside then public and i will just copy paste the path so because i'm not i'm new with this uh, keyboard <laughs> okay so after you go outside it two levels go to the public uploads and then you need to go to the to a folder which represents the size the image, new image, and where's the dollar sign? So this is the, so this is S, which is this one here. So this is each element inside, inside the array. So I need to create a folder called 25 by 25 inside uploads. But I think I got, uh, I got a, sorry, what happened here? I think a good approach is to it check if the folder exists. If does if it does not exist, create it. So don't so any developer in the future can just 
put a new size here and that don't create the folder manually which is uh, bad it's easy it's not that hard I won't waste, waste time showing it to you and I can't type I'm sorry so we have okay 100 times no 200 200 times 200 another folder is 400 times 400 Last one is five nine hundred. So nine hundred times. Okay. So I have these folders. And now the path is correct. And after you put the the new path you need to add the new file name. Which will be in our case is the the original name we used. Oops. We stored so this one inside the static property. Just inject it here with the dollar sign and curly brackets. Okay. So yeah, I think this is good. And I will return the so to file returns a promise. I will return it to the next ten. So that then after we read the sync file. Uh, I'll just console log it. So console.log and then catch. Console sorry. Console dot error. And I think we don't need the right file as sync. I was testing some things. It's only the read file. Malter, I think Malter behind the scenes does the same thing promisify the right uh, function so I think that's pretty much it it's really simple uh, but sharp contains so many things and very very useful things so I highly recommend that you read about it I will put the link in the description but uh, let's try let's try and test it so I would go to postman yes and uh, I have I will upload an image let me just choose new one uh, the same memes I'm uploading. Okay, well, I got response. This is the name, the image. This let's go to VS Code and check our uh, or if, if the folder exists, uh, if the file exists in multiple uh, extensions, in multiple dimensions. Sorry. So it should be. So this is the original one, and this is 400 by 400, 500. I don't think it will matter, but this is 200 by 200, 50 by 50, and 25 by 25. And if you notice, uh, I didn't, and here I'm just calling this function, so the return value will get, by the way, uh, executed at the same time. Or no, 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 no. So I'm not using await here. I'm not, I'm not promisifying this function. I'm not putting a sync await. So. I think a good approach is just to make a sync. I have to type this sync, and it will return now. Not a not a a, a promise of void. So like this, and I think this is now better. So this function will run. Even so, this is like a Cygnus code now. So this function will keep running even though we are returned this value so and we need here to handle any errors by maybe recalling the same uh, file Im save image if there's any errors normally sh we should not face any error uh, but if that's the case you can handle it here in the catch um, and yeah another thing that I can show you to access the file the new file we uploaded with the new dimension we need to change the path so let me return to postman the path we we usually get them. So this is the cannot name, and we usually go to localhost three thousand. Since we exposed our public folder, go to uploads, type here the dimension, then the name of the new file. Which is this one. So this is four hundred by four hundred. So let's let's get twenty five by twenty five. Can type. 
So this is 25 by 25, which is which is nice. This is really helpful and really powerful. Uh, I remember once I wrote a service that uh, you only give it. Um, it's it's it defines an endpoint. So let me just return to code and show you like just a quick example. So it it defines a lot. For example, like this. So at get what is the G? So at get uh, for some, for example any any this anything then uh, an ID. This is the ID of the image. So when the user sends that, I will retain the image as a binary, uh, and the browser or the client will just handle that like any any other image. But the thing is that uh, also the user will send a size here, so something like this. So an ID and a size. If the ID does not exist, I will just retain the original image that the user uploads, this one. And if they specify a size, I, I will recreate it and save it with with the so he will for example the user will send me something like this so uh, 500 times uh, 300 so this is the width and this is the height for example okay so what i will do i will create a folder if it does not exist by this name inside the uploads i will put the image after resizing it there and retain it as a binary so why i'm doing this uh, because the user can and the front-end developer can choose any size he he or she wants, with it, which is very very good. And the second thing is uh, I'm not exposing anything from here. So even the user try to go to the uploads folder, he will get 404 response. So I'm retaining this everything here, uh, everything I'm retaining it from an endpoint as a binary. Uh, this is could be uh, very very helpful and good. And a great service, and I think a good. Uh, I think you can do it actually. It's not that hard. Uh, maybe you can just try it on your own. Uh, I won't waste more time on Sharp on file upload. Uh, I think I will do maybe web sockets or authorization authentication. Oh no, you, you actually there is some documentation things I need to cover. Uh, how to generate documentation and uh, Swagger. I didn't cover Swagger, so this might be a good things to do. Um, Okay, thank you.